my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how does studying comets help science. So comets are a really, really important part of our solar system. Uh, they've been around since the beginning of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. And I will kind of briefly explain what are comets and what are they made out of and then I will talk about the importance for science. So uh, a comet is made out of a nucleus and a nucleus is between 100 meters to 40 kilometers in size. Now, uh, this is generally gases and ice and sort of embedded rock. Uh, it also can be found carbon dioxide. Uh, methane has been found in them. Ethane has been found in it. Um, oxygen has been found in it. And a lot of types of like amino acids and so forth. So it has a lot of trapped gases and each one is different than the other. So each comet is unique. The other one is that the other part of the comet is the coma. And the coma is um, like the atmosphere of the, it's, it's just a cloud of gas surrounding the nucleus. Now, the, uh, the comets also have two types of tails. It has the dust tail and the ion tail. And these two are only visible once they orbit the sun, which is another important fact about comets. Comets actually have stable orbits around the sun, and their orbits can range from a short period, which is less than 200 years, to a lower, uh, long period, which is over 200 years. Now, why are they important? Why do we want to look at this uh, comet? Well, the reason is that the composition can give you an insight of what was the actual abundance of elements at the beginning of the solar system. Because they've been around for 4.6 billion years, they actually have the primordial gases and the primordial uh, composition of the solar system as it was 4.6 billion years ago. So it gives, you, it gives us a clue of what was the solar system really made out of. Now, another important thing is that they contain, many of them contain uh, the building blocks of life. They can be uh, responsible for bringing water into planets, for creating life. As you have collisions with these comets, they can actually bring in some of the important gases or some of the important elements that can constitute, uh, that can be responsible for the creation of life. Uh, a really important dis discovery was the Wild 2 comet. And the wild two had these amino acids that have been thought to be responsible for the evolution of life here on Earth. So there's a possibility that we had some impacts with comets and comets brought all those building blocks that are responsible for life. My name is Aline Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how comets help science.